George's grandma was mean. She said little boys should eat mountains of cabbage with caterpillars in and they should never have chocolate to stop them from growing. George thought she was a witch. She said she had the powers to make teeth grow out of your fingernails. And she took medicine, but George didn't think that medicine made her any better. So he cooked up his own. And he said that he was gonna put in, quite simply, everything that he could find. So George's medicine had some really powerful effects and it contained lots of different kinds of stuff. It was a really powerful mixture. And that got me thinking about just what a mixture is. Well, there are really only three different sorts of stuff in the world. We know that everything is made from elements. There are 118 of them. Some of them you've probably heard of, like gold or copper or the nitrogen that makes up most of the air around us. But the air isn't just nitrogen. It contains other elements like oxygen and also things like carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a compound, so it has two different elements, carbon and oxygen, and they're chemically combined to make a new thing. Lots of the things in George's mixture were compounds. I've got one here. This is a very common compound. It's made of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. It's a clear, colourless liquid called water. Maybe you've seen it before. Maybe you know what the chemical name for this compound is. It's H2O. And that tells us about the elements that make it up. It has two hydrogens and one oxygen. Well, what do we know about those things? Hydrogen is a really explosive gas. And oxygen is the gas that we breathe and it helps things to burn. Well, let's think about that for a moment. If hydrogen is a really explosive gas and oxygen helps things to burn, if I set fire to this stuff, we should get a massive fireball. Let's try it. Are you ready? Nothing happens, does it? And we know that we use water to put fires out. But that's what compounds are like. They're nothing at all like the things that make them up. So water is completely different from the hydrogen and the oxygen that makes it up. When those elements combine, they produce a new material. George's medicine contained lots of different compounds and he combined them all in a great big stew pot. He made a mixture. Let's have a go at that. I've got some more water here and I've got some salt. So let's add some in. So I'm tipping in quite a bit of salt. I can see it falling down through the water and now I'm going to give it a mix. And now the salt is so well mixed that I can't even see it. It's completely dissolved into the water. Ugh, but it tastes horrible. It's still in there and it's still salt. So it's not like our compound where it was different from the things that made it up. There's still water and salt mixed together. And we can mix together a solid into a liquid like this, or we can mix together different gases like in the air around us, or we can mix together liquids. I've got some more water. Here it is. And I'm going to add another liquid, it's cooking oil. Oh, look at those beautiful blobs of cooking oil on the top. Let's stir it together like we did with the salt. So we can see it still, it hasn't disappeared like the salt did. Oh, and it's coming back to the surface again. I can't get these two things to properly mix together. And that's because we have different kinds of stuff in the world. 
When you want to mix something together into a liquid, we call that a solvent. And some solvents are called polar solvents, and they will mix really well with things that are water-based. Water is a polar solvent. And some things are non-polar solvents, things like the oil that I put in here. Now, George used a great big mixture of different kinds of stuff inside his stew pot. And some of those things would mix really well with water, but some of them really wouldn't. And some of them would mix really well with the things like the oil, and other things wouldn't. So would George's medicine have ended up like my glass, separating out into different layers? Well, do you know what? It probably wouldn't because he also added some other stuff. He added soap and shaving foam. He added things called surfactants. And surfactants can help these two things to mix together. Got some washing up liquid. So let's try and add a little bit of that into our mixture. So now we've got three different liquids in here. And if I stir these up, it's going a bit cloudy but we should find that they don't separate straight out again. And that's what George's mixture was like. So a mix of lots of things like brown gloss paint and lipstick, which mix with oils, and a whole range of things like flea powder and dog medicine that mixed in with the water. So we made a marvellous mixture. And his mixture probably would have some quite powerful effects but I'm not sure it will make your granny grow as tall as a house. It might do other things, so best not to try it. For more Roald Dahl inspired science videos, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Science Made Simple UK.